Hi, I'm Patrick, and I'm the animal care manager here at the Hitchcock Center for the Environment. This is Cobb, the corn snake. He's one of our teaching animals and animal ambassadors that lives here with us at the Hitchcock Center. And today I want to share with you some spring behavior that Cobb has been showing us. Cobb is experiencing corn snake mating season for the first time ever. Corn snake mating season usually lasts between uh, March, April, and May, but only corn snakes that are old enough to breed will experience the changes that go along with mating season. Uh, the age that corn snakes are old enough to mate is usually around three or four years old, and Cobb is three years and seven months old. So this is the first spring mating season that he has been old enough to experience the changes that go along with it. So what's different for a corn snake during mating season? Well, first of all, their eating habits change. Normally, uh, snakes will eat a big meal and then go for a while without eating anything. We often refer to this as a feast and famine lifestyle. Uh, the bigger the snake, the bigger the prey they can eat, and the longer then they can go without eating another meal. For Cobb, this means uh, he's on a schedule of feeding where he will get one mouse once every two weeks. And that's good enough for him. That's a healthy feeding schedule for him. Um, but during mating season, he gets so preoccupied with needing to find a mate um, that the changes in his body that are happening make it so that he doesn't want to eat anymore. He's totally disinterested in food now. Um, so... It's the right time of year, and the last meal that we gave him, he wasn't, wasn't, didn't want it. Um, it was a nice, it was a mouse. By the way, we don't feed live mice. Uh, we, the mice are already dead. Uh, and for uh, many snakes uh, that are uh, raised by people, uh, they can get used to uh, eating and catching and eating prey that has, is not moving. And they do just fine with that. Um, so the last meal that we gave Cobb, he didn't, didn't want to eat. Um, he knew that it was there. He was uh, very much aware of it. He went right up to it with his, with his mouth, with his face and flicked that tongue out. Oh, not going to show me the tongue? Well, if you see his tongue flick out, that's how he smells, collects smells with his tongue. So he inspected the mouse that we gave him uh, while he was in his feeding tub. But he slithered right past it. And every time we put it back in front of him, he slithered past it again, trying to get out of the feeding tub. Because that's the other thing that changes during mating season is uh, his activity level increases. This re is uh, reflective of the fact that he needs to go find a mate. If you're a corn snake uh, and you've woken up from your long winter hibernation or lower level of activity um, and there isn't a mate around, well, you got to go find him, so him or her. So uh, for Cobb, this means that his activity level's increased, he's moving around his tank a lot more than he would normally, and let's get you over here, bud. Uh, and that goes right along with the fasting. The longest that I've ever seen a corn snake that I've been taking care of not eat during mating season was 87 days. And they can handle that. That's okay for their bodies. So. I'm going to keep offering Cobb, Cobb his mice on his regular schedule so that he can tell me when his mating season is over. And we'll see how long he wants to go. Thanks.